Hello everyone, this is Doc Plum with a late night video. Today is March 1st, the annual spinach and now uh, goose and CN tower hunt, National Spinach Day. Uh, this is a contest slash uh, fun event in the community started by uh, Julie Farnham and For the Pulse. And I went to uh, Target today and could not find any Allen and Ginter packs. So instead, I'm just going to make a drawing of a goose eating spinach in front of the CN Tower. So we're going to start out with this drawing. We're going to, um, yeah, we're just going to draw the uh, CN Tower here. Um, I have a, an image of the card of the CN Tower up behind me for reference. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it just looks like a tower that's pretty narrow. And it kind of goes down like that. Okay. And then it's got the, uh, the, uh, the elevator thing about Bob here as well here. So maybe, uh, I do have plans to visit Toronto, uh, eventually. So, uh, maybe I'll be on, be able, be able to experience the CN Tower for myself sometime, which would be pretty cool. I'll have to bring a CN Tower card with, with me, and then I'll have a, a CN Tower on the CN Tower. Ain't that something? Okay, there it is. And this is the CN Tower. Um, next, we're going to eat a goose. Eat a goose, not going to eat a goose. Next, we're going to need a goose in the foreground here. Um, there are plenty of goose near me. Um, I uh, have filmed them for, for my other YouTube channel, which I haven't used in a while. It's called More Geese For You. And, uh, yeah, the goose aren't always friendly, but um, that's due to them sort of... Uh, the geese around here get away with whatever they want. They are kind of menaces, but... Um, that's all right because uh, they've been. Uh, I can't really blame them after they've been allowed to pretty much again do whatever they want around here. Um, I'm not sure how great of a geese this is, but you know it's it's thin in there, and then um, yeah, it's it sure is a goose. Gives little tail feathers there. And it's got its legs. Hey, whoa, oopsie there. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's redo the legs there. Okay. Those look like person legs. Eh, oh well, it's late. Okay, so there's a goose. I'm not really sure if it looks like a goose, but we'll uh, put it right there in the CN Tower. And um, it's just going to sort of be like staring at a table with some spinach on the table. And uh, this goose is really unsure about uh, what to exactly do with this spinach. But as a spoiler, it's going to eventually just eat all the spinach. There's going to be no spinach left since this goose... It's going to invite all its friends over to, um, to eat the spinach with it, as where there are one goose, where, where there is one goose, there is, there usually are many, and all this is going to be taking place on a sidewalk, because the geese I'm familiar with, with, love to congregate on sidewalks, especially those that are frequently used by humans. Yeah, okay. Well, there's the CN Tower. Um, let's put like a, like a building in front of the CN Tower. You know, just uh, oh, wait, it's in front of a baseball stadium, right? Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll just we'll just kind of uh, hmm, what more sure to do about that? Let's see. There we go. There's the Roger. Yeah, I guess we need to put Rogers Center in front of here somehow. Um, Not really sure how that's gonna work. Um, huh. Well, 
Well, we'll just leave it like that for now. And now it is likely time to do some coloring. First, let's get this spinach here. Yeah, that's some nice spinach. All right. Color that green in, add some dark highlights, accent, shading to that. Let's not make this drawing too long, you know. Um, Then we got this, uh, we got this, like, building the goose is standing in front of, and this building's gonna have, like, a little door. And, um, it's gonna have a window. Okay. And we're going to color in the goose as well. There's the goose. And, um, I kind of forgot like what, what color is actually we got going on here. But I know there's some black, white, and brown in this goose. So we're just going to give it some color right there. Okay. There we go, Mr. Goose. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you enjoy your spinach I gave you. Maybe it's Mrs. Goose. I don't know. Might be Mrs. Goose. Yeah, I think this is going to be Mrs. Goose since I once got attacked by a uh, Mrs. Goose when I was trying to photograph her babies. But to be fair, I didn't ask if I could f photograph her babies, her baby geese. So, you know, the geese were, uh, I'm sure the geese didn't appreciate that. Again, I will state, these are all geese involved. No, no, no humans. Um, I, I do, do not, do not photograph other humans without asking first, obviously. Um, but yeah, the geese don't really have the same, uh, status as humans in America these days. Which is strange, because as I mentioned earlier, in many senses, they're above humans. But, hey, you never know. This kind of reminds me of, like, a downtown card. Like, one of those downtown inserts. CN Tower. Is there something on the top of them, the very top of the CN Tower? No, I don't remember, quite frankly. If, you, if I'm being frank with you, well, I'm being Doc Plum, not Frank. So, there was a bit of an issue with that. I'm gonna have color in this building. This building's gonna have a nice, uh, nice red brick sort of look to it. Watch out, 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 watch And then I got a color in the door as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I won't go too crazy. I'll give it the same door as the color of the tower. Okay, there we go. No color in the tower as well. Okay, yeah, this is becoming a bit of an impressionist painting, which is fine by me. Hey. Now that does not look like a CN tower anymore. That just looks sort of weird. Okay. Well, either way, I'm just gonna call it that. And uh yeah, so there there's there it is. There's the uh there's the tower goose. Um Make sure to let me know what you think of this drawing, and I uh, hope for all you Spinach Hunt participators that you all uh, 
enjoy uh, enjoy the Spanish hunt day. So as I finish these last touches here, the sidewalk, um, I'd just like to thank everyone for, uh, especially Julie Parham for the pills, polls, don't talk to robots as well. And shout out to other YouTubers, A Mess of Things and Card Wolf, who I also enjoy watching a lot for uh, making the Spanish hunt quite the event that is. And uh, 